dual duty for the big knife it's a, another good argument for having a big knife besides its cutting ability is its ability to drive stakes in the ground when you're trapping I'm Madison Parker from Equipped Endure and I'm here to share with you a, a skill that I use if I was going to get a tag and try and trap an alligator this is the way I would do it of course, be advised, you have to have a, a tag, a hunting license, and permitted in the state of Florida for taking gators, but if you if you have the tag, it's totally legal. Okay, here we go. So we're digging the ground, this one stake. Seems to be working pretty good. The old machete's holding up. I like this piece. It's a parang. It's a, the Indonesian version parang made, made by Condor. So I'm liking what I'm using so far. This uh, parang has uh, shown me some, some really good stuff. I like it. So then we get our trigger stick, our horizontal trigger. And we want to measure this right here, like this. And it can go either way. And now, because our soil is rather soft here, we want to come in just a little bit because you want it just a little shorter than your horizontal stick. It's a little lower on this side, but I think I can. Okay, now we got the That's good. So now I've got my horizontal, I've got my my uh, my 90, there's a 90 right here. Then I want to get my trigger stick, which is right here. So we got our trigger here. Simply uh, a notch in a vertical in the 90 degree angle on this horizontal I've got I just marry those two up together it's pretty pretty uh, sturdy and then you put bait right here on the stick and then you put your snare in front now with okay. this one you can go this side and this side with a snare right that way you just funnel him in he, he either way he comes in he's got a snare on this side from here or a snare on this side from here usually about that far away from the bait you know the snare drops right here right and then over here the snare drops over here and then what you want to do is get these sticks like this and stick them in the ground and funnel, funnel them yeah. funnel them yeah it's it'd be kind of like this right here uh -huh. and then like the same way going back. Perfect right there. Look at that. Now this is steel snaring. Now this is my set. This is my snare for a gator. If I wanted to snare a gator, I would run this right here. You see this? What's beginning? And there's more here. It's a funnel what we call in trapping terms is it's a funnel okay like this and this keep the gator straight in stops him from coming up over the side and you got to do this in the back too because when you have bait here he can come around the back side so I mean it's pretty obvious it doesn't take rocket science to figure that out so you just build your pin in the back right here. Pin will go like this. I mean, I just draw it roughly in the dirt like this, something like that. Not very big. Tie on a piece of meat. Like uh, the best thing to tie on there is an armadillo. If you can find a roadkill armadillo down here, there's plenty of those. We put him right here. And let him go to rotten for a day or two. I guarantee that gator's coming up in there. He's gonna put his head right through that loop. 
and when he pulls on that armadillo, it's stuck. When this thing gets caught, man, yeah, this thing is great. Um, anyway, so that's it. Um, you got the uh, basically gator snare, but just remember, everybody out there watching these videos, you have to do these types of uh, things within the permitting laws. You have to be within the law. And you have to get permitting and everything like that for a gator. In the state of Florida, you better have your permits in order. Uh, they will take take you to jail for that. But anyway, so we're, we're here to show you how. If you ever get the tag, if you ever get the opportunity to hunt gators, uh, you can do that with these. Great. All right. I'm making a, actually a, tra uh, a trail snare. And what I do is, there's a couple ways to set this up, but this is pretty easy. I have notches and my stakes. One's facing one way and one's facing the other. This is the, the stick that I use to actually hold this whole thing together. So what I do is I'll pull this down to where it needs to be. There's a couple of ways that you can actually hook this up, but uh, just to be basic, Now a lot of times if you don't have any metal, you can actually use the uh, 550 cord as a uh, as a snare. I don't really like to do that. I like having uh, metal snares. If the animal gets up, gets a hold of this thing, he can actually cut through it pretty easy. I mean, this one is pretty basic, just like this. A stake here, a stake here, like I was telling you before. There's notches in it. They're actually facing away from each other. Uh, this notch is facing this way. This notch is facing this way. That is so that if an animal comes through here, he is actually, can, uh, it's going to trip it either way, both ways, one way or the other. There's a couple other variants that you can do with this. I did this one really quick. Um, I could actually put a bait stick on here and actually use it to hook it. Uh, Madison Parker actually did that with his gator trap. Um, I decided to show this in a different way uh, because he showed it that way. And you can absolutely do the same thing with this one. Um, if you'll look, this is just a piece of a branch or a log tied onto a tree. And the reason why you want the tree, the reason why you want it tied to the tree the way that it is, so you can move this back and forth and adjust it with the trap. If you'll look down on the end, I have a weight down there. And again, on a previous video, we showed you the roller bearing effect. If I wanted this to be um, a lot more sensitive, I would just take a small piece of wood like this, and I would actually, I would f take the bark off of it and flatten it out, and I would stick the roller bearing in here like this, and I would stick one in here like this. So that would make it a lot more sensitive. And then what I would do is actually put my um, snare on it the way that it is, and and i will show you if an animal comes in through here you'll see i got these sticks actually holding the snare open i have this tag end on here so that if it's a rabbit what will happen is the rabbit's ears will get caught on that and look at what it wants to do it wants to go right underneath his neck so then what will happen is he'll get caught and boom this is where it'll be hanging and you can see the balance beam it works pretty good I would absolutely use this if you were um, in a hurry, you wanted to do a lot of a lot of traps. This is pretty basic. It's pretty easy. Absolutely. Placement. Pla placement is a huge part. You, I could set this trap right here where it is right now and just leave it for months and I never catch anything. If I baited it, I might catch something. But if you you got to wander through the woods, we, and that's one of the things, very important placement. 
it's it's tracking its sign and it's it's what the paths are are they using them aren't they using them is it an escape route i mean we've talked about this before but i'm bobby at equipped to endure just remember if you're not always prepared you're never prepared <laughs>